It's Nick, also known as Cruiser Media here, back at it again with another video. Today we've got a little bit of a product review, and if you can't tell, this is actually not the mic that I'm using, because my camera is all the way over there. And you might be like, yo, Nick, what are you using to record? Well, everybody, <clears throat> I got a new toy. This is the Cinco wireless mic straight out of China. And you know what? As much as I bag on Chinese products, this one here might just be the best bang for your buck when it comes to wireless mics. And we're going to go through it. So let's jump into the video. So obviously, as you can tell, I am just a little bit far away from the camera. Um, which isn't all too impressive. I'm probably about 15 feet away from you guys uh, watching all the way over there. But the audio quality is pretty good. You know, I really, I can't complain. The device here so far has proven to be nice in interview settings. And so far I have very minimal complaints. There is kind of a big problem with these mics, which we're going to dive into a little bit later. But here it is. Now, obviously, this is going to be the uh, just the transmitter, which is going to be recording straight out of here. But there is something else. This mic does come with a Lavier microphone. So we're going to throw that on and we're going to give that a little test as well, <clears throat> because right now you're just hearing straight out of the actual mic itself. So let's go ahead and give the Lavier mics a try. I honestly haven't even touched these yet. So we're just going to go ahead and plug it in. Hello. Okay. So now we've got the Lavier mic plugged in, which obviously this is going to be great for interviews as you can tuck it underneath your shirt, have it come out to like here. But what is the audio quality like? on these things. It feels like very cheap plastic, very cheap cable that it comes with, very cheap wire. But is the audio quality suitable? Is it going to be good for interviews? That's what we're going to test out. From the entire Elkhorn team, thank you. Your partnership means the world to us. Thank you for allowing us to transform your homes. We look forward to serving you for many more years to come. Raised in Colorado, and now I live in Castle Rock with my beautiful wife Morgan and our daughter Goldie. I started Elkhorn in 2016 after graduating from CSU. When I started Elkhorn, I began hearing story after story from clients about how they were let down by a contractor. Help them develop a project plan that best meets their needs. We're constantly learning and growing so that your project is being led by the best experts. We completely understand that when you choose to work with us, you are entrusting your home, your business to our company. And Now we're in 4K, so we're going to get into unboxing this in just a second. So this is the Cinco Wireless Mics package. I purchased this off of Amazon for $100 on sale. This specific one that I did buy was $150 before the sale, keep in mind. So here we go. This is the case that you receive, which I'm not sure if the $100 option as opposed to the $150 option comes with this case or these specific things, but I will link the link to where I purchased these in the description below. So you can check them out for yourself and decide if you want to order them. So this is the case, nice little curved zipper, very ergonomic. Look at that. Look at the way that it fits in my finger to receive. When you do buy these mics, you have transmitter number one, transmitter number two. These are the actual microphones. As you can see, there's the input right there. So these are the microphones here. This is the receiver which you plug into your camera, your phone, 
whatever you need. Obviously, if you're going to be doing this on iPhone, this stuff is a little bit dated. These cables to connect to your phones, they only have the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. They don't have USB-C, lightning, so you will have to purchase an adapter if you plan on using these with your phone. So keep that in mind. I also receive a lavier, which connects into here and which is much more discreet than pinning this massive block onto your shirt or your subject shirt. So this can easily just be tucked under the shirt. This can go clipped in the pocket, tuck this, tape it under their shirt, and it is a hidden microphone. So we received two of those right here. As you can see, here it is. This is what it looks like closer up if my phone will focus. Two windscreens right here these just go twist straight onto the mics themselves these are fantastic they do an incredible job we receive the actual cable to plug into the camera as you can see camera microphone now when you are plugging it in i made the mistake of filming an entire interview with this plugged in and it's actually supposed to be plugged into the output which don't do what i did i filmed a whole hour interview and that happened so yes, there's our cable to connect to the camera, and we've got a pop slash wind filter for the second lavier. This one already has it on because I was filming with this for this video. <clears throat> Here we have a connection for a smartphone. As I was mentioning, this is for a dated smartphone, not for the USB-C, so you will need an adapter to use this, as I mentioned before. And then we've got a couple other goodies in here which I've actually never taken these out of the uh, out of the packaging, but here we have two magnets and then some clips. I'm assuming these are for the laviers themselves. So you're going to have charger. Oh, which by the way, this has a three prong charger. All of these connect via USB-C, one USB into the wall outlet, and you can charge all three of these devices at once. That's great. That does come with this, but it's tucked away in my cable drawer. So <clears throat> here we have the button to turn it on. You just press and hold. Here we have the gain and audio adjustments right here. Just one simple tap and it will go through the settings. So I will give you all an example here. <laughs> left so we got low high and then here is where well that should be gain adjustment but i guess we do need the receiver on as well and now guys these are as simple as turning them on and they connect right away as you can see the transmitter going to the receiver. So we have B right now, and as you can see, the gain is plus 15. So what we're going to do is, here you go, you've got your audio tracks right here, A and B. You can record both of these at the same time, and it will do two separate audios for the video, which is very nice as well, mind you. Not a lot does that if you're recording dual channel. But there's our gain adjustment right there, three, six, 9, 12, 15, back down to zero. So those are the gain options. Now, if we do press it on the transmitter itself, the mic, you can see that level is going up. <clears throat> so there's those. Now, obviously, we're only recording in single channel, but like I mentioned, if you have both of them on, it's going to do a split audio for the A channel and the B channel, and it is all going to be stereo. So <clears throat> that's another thing. Here, you can record in mono or stereo, which, safety, I don't know what that means. But here's mono track, so this is only going to be left or right. Stereo, obviously, is going to be both, both, both sides, left and right. So now that we got into this, it's very easy, very simple. I'm going to show you how to actually connect it to the camera because it's sometimes not too obvious. So here we have the A7 III, and this is where my audio plug is. Boom, right in there, as you can see. So all that you have to do, take the camera side, plug her right in. Again, if I wasn't using one hand, this would be fantastic. 
And then you are going to take the receiver, the one without the mic here, and you are going to plug it into the out. Make sure you don't plug it into the headphone and then record something. So now this is feeding directly into the camera and it really is as simple as that, guys. It does have this clip so you can clip it right into the top. Every camera, pre camera pretty much has this standard thing here. Just take that clip out, slide that in, and you're good to go. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. So <clears throat> we are recording. Oh, well, we're not recording here, but this is feeding into the camera. Guys, it's really as easy as that. You are ready to go. You set your button. You start filming and log. You get your video settings dialed in, and then you are ready to go. As you can see, I'm speaking directly into the transmitter. We're going to get some clipping. But it's really as easy as that, guys. Then you just press the record button, and you go. So, overall, guys, these are a great investment. The only problem that I had using these was filming cars. If the exhaust is just a little bit too loud, you are going to absolutely blow out your audio. So, so taking all of this into consideration, I purchased these microphones for $100 on Amazon. Uh, this specific pack that I did get, which does include this case. I'm not sure if the most base purchasing option comes with this case that I did receive, but uh, I'm not sure what the other package is, but I'm going to check it out. This package in particular with the case, all of the accessories, the two transmitters, the receiver, and obviously this carrying case came out to $150. And of course I did snag that on sale for $100. So Obviously, with this price tag, you're going to run into some issues with the audio quality. You're going to get some clipping super loud. Uh, the capabilities are very limited as opposed to the standard issue DJI wireless and the Rode wireless mics. But overall, for $100, you really, it doesn't get any better than this, guys. I mean, you get two receivers, two laviers, the transmitter, all of the cables that you need. It's literally just plug and play. You don't have to go over any settings. There are some very basic settings here on the side, which you can adjust live or before you start filming anything. These mics are fantastic. Again, the one issue that I did run into is filming cars, which you guys did see a clip of that Ferrari and the BMW, which mind you, that Ferrari was not <laughs> by any means loud. Uh, it was a stock exhaust. So for that, you're gonna have some issues if you are specifically trying to film cars, which is where I would recommend that higher price tag. But then again, if you're doing basic work like this interviews, uh, you just need audio for some sort of cinematic that you're filming, this is the way to go. Commentaries, vlogs, stuff like that. This, I, I can't recommend this product enough. And no, this is not a sponsored video. This is just my pure unadulterated thoughts. Uh, do they feel cheap? No, they have the magnets that you can stick onto metal. It's uh, for $100 or in the case that this product isn't on sale, $150 for everything that you're getting. This is a fantastic deal and I would recommend it to anybody who's looking to get into filmmaking or just starting to make videos. It plug and plays into any camera and it's super simple, super easy to figure out. There's no extra settings that you have to go through, no calibration. Everything in post is super easy. You just throw it all in there and go to town with it. Um, so yeah, guys, I uh, this has been the Cinco wireless mics unboxing and review. Uh, I hope that you did find it helpful. If you do end up purchasing this, let me know in the comments below. Or if you do have additional questions, feel free to reach out to me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and all those links found in the description below. And go ahead and give me a follow on Twitter because I am most active on there. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, that concludes the video. So I hope you found it helpful. Again, let me know if you do end up picking these mics up. Or if you do have additional questions, feel free to reach out to me on any of those platforms listed below. And I will see you all in the next video. Later. Later.